So today we're going to be working in Prusa Slicer and what I want to show you is how you can do multi-material prints without the multi-material upgrade. So what I'm going to show you is how you can create those color changes stacked vertically and I'll get into why the multi-material upgrade is useful a bit later on but you don't actually need the multi-material upgrade to do multi-color prints. And a lot of people don't know this. And just as an example, I'm going to show you this. So I printed this uh, a little while ago. And you can see it's a simple um, rectangle shape. But I've used three different colors there, and it's a really clean transition. And I'll put a picture up as well so you can see it. But um, yeah, I don't have the multi-material upgrade but I was able to do this and I'll explain why both are useful in a sec. So first thing I'm going to do is just show you how you can do it this way. So in Prusa Slicer, I'm just going to import this simple model that I used and I'm going to place it this way up. Now you don't do anything different from here. You just slice it like you normally would. So you pick all your settings. I was using PLA and you hit slice now. And this takes you to the preview tab. And as you know, on the right hand side, we've got this slider. And this allows you to see all the individual layers of your print. So if we drag it close down to the bottom, you can see that as we drag it up, we can see each layer. And you can see the layer number here. So I'm just gonna go to roughly layer 100, just for this example. And you can see to the right of that slider is this little plus button. If you click that, what it does is it adds in a new color. If we drag the slider up now, you can see that there's a different color in there. And on the bottom left of the menu, you'll see that the view has changed to color print. And all that does, when you click that plus button, all it does is tell the 3D printer that you want to change filament. So it adds some G-code so that the print head will move to the side and ask you to change the filament. And I've got a video here to show you that, just so you know what I'm talking about. So you can see here that you just start the print like you normally would in whatever color and the print head's going to move to the side and it's going to ask you to remove that filament and add in a new one. And as soon as it's done, the filament loads through and it just carries on printing as normal. And then you go through the exact same changes for any additional colors that you've added. In this case here, you can see I added red and again, it just continues printing as normal. So as you can see, I started off with the white and I then changed the filament out to some black filament and it just continued to print. And that's basically all we're doing here. And you can see on the one I printed, I went from white to black to red. So if we want to add another layer color change in, all we do is drag the slider up again. And remember there's a plus button on the right, click that, drag it up and we've got our third color. And that is basically it. All we've done is told the printer, I want to make a filament change at this particular layer. And this is sort of on the limits of what is possible with the standard Mark III and the Mark III-S. And the multi-material upgrade becomes useful when you want to do a color change on the same layer. So what we've done here, right, is again, if we scroll down, We've got to a particular layer, in this case, layer 203, and we've just told it we're gonna change filament, and when we go to layer 204, it's gonna be a different color. But what if we wanted a different color on the same layer? So if we, if we wanted sort of um, yellow across here, and then in the center, in the center between these two, we could say, okay, maybe we want green there. So, that's where the multi-material upgrade becomes useful because it handles that change of filament for you. It's not impossible with the Mark III, but what you'd have to do is stand there for the entire print and manually change the filament over. You know, and you could you could have to do this hundreds of times throughout a print if you were going to do that. And what the multi-material upgrade does is it just changes all the filaments out for you. And hopefully that kind of gives you a bit of a better understanding of what the multi-material upgrade actually does. I don't have the upgrade, so I'm unable to do any sort of tutorials on it or show you how it works. 
I wish I could get my hands on one, so producer, if you're watching, feel free to get in touch and send me one. I'd love to have a go of it. But for now, I make use of my regular Mark III, and I've been playing around with this quite a lot lately. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I've put a few photos up of some stuff I've been messing around with. And if you haven't followed me on there, go and do it. I post a lot of content and more sort of my projects as opposed to tutorials. But yeah, I, I recommend you go follow me. Um, so yeah, that's it for this one. Hopefully it's been useful and hopefully it's given you a better insight as to how you can do multicolor prints. And yeah, thanks for watching. If there's any other tutorials you want, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you on the next video.